May I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Remembrance Sunday, for me, causes all kinds of thoughts and emotions, as I do, I'm sure it does for many of us. Remembering those I have known personally who served in the world wars. Having experience of living in Guernsey, which was under German occupation during the Second World War, gives other thoughts with seeing those fortifications day by day. And then having friends who have served since in the forces, bearing so many scars, some of which I know, some of which I've got no idea, I can only but guess. <coughs> Not to mention the conflicts going on right to this day. The Holy Land being but one example. And here we are today on Remembrance Sunday. Remembering, but not glorifying the war. But on top of that, we are remembering and praying for the repose of those <coughs> who paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives while working for peace. We pray for them with knowledge that death is not the end, for in Jesus, death is defeated. We hear this in today's epistle from 1 Thessalonians. Do not grieve as those who have no hope, for since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. That promise from Jesus for each and every one of us who come to him. Something we remember when we reflect on so many lives lost during conflicts past and present. We pray for peace. We do what we can to work for peace. We remember those who have served in the forces, working for peace, paying such a heavy price while doing so. We pray for those who continue to do this right up to this day. And we pray for those who have died in conflict, reassured that through Jesus, this is not the end. We will pray for them and we will remember them. We will remember. 